Hey guys, welcome back to Motorcycle Maintenance Channel. On this episode, we're going to show you how to replace a battery in your motorcycle. But we're not just going to use another lead acid battery. We're going to use a lithium ion battery by anti-gravity. Stay tuned. First thing you'll need is a five millimeter Allen key. And you'll just peel back the seat like this to access the bolt. We'll stick that in there and loosen it up. Once it's out of the hole, we'll still leave it there so we know where it goes and the seat will hold it in place so we won't lose our bolt. We'll move over to the other side and just like before, leave it in place. Now the screws will be right there. You won't lose them and the seat's removed. Next, you'll grab your Phillips screwdriver, or as I like to call it, the star screwdriver. And you'll put it on the negative post. We're going to disconnect the negative side first. Place this to the side. Now we'll go for the positive wire. This gets done after the negative wire, because now that's not grounded anymore. All right. Now those are tucked out of the way. We'll take off this little rubber strap that holds the battery in place. And now we're going to remove the battery. Um, this is a side note. This battery already has a tender connections on it. This one goes here to the negative. This one here goes to the positive. You can't use a regular battery tender for the lead for the lithium ion battery. You need to get one specific to a lithium ion battery. Now, before we move this battery out of the way, we're going to disconnect this electrical box here and just kind of push it this way so we get more clearance. And then you have your OB2 connector here. We're gonna remove that out of the way too just so that we can get more clearance. And those just go in these little clips right here down at the bottom. So we'll just put those, these little rubber connections, we'll slide those back through the clips when we get ready to replace the battery. This one here has it right here. Okay, so straps off. We got clearance now. Now to finagle our battery out of there. There we go. And that thing is heavy. Now this lead acid battery is heavy the battery we're going to replace is 70 percent lighter than this battery so it's it's, a, it's a, like a lead brick that we're pulling out of the bike so here's our anti-gravity gravity lithium ion battery it does cost a little bit more than your standard lead acid battery you can probably get a lead acid battery for 70 dollars at walmart or cheaper this one's 180 dollars there are other branded lithium ion batteries that cost less, probably in the 150 to 160 ballpark range. Um, we, we chose to go this direction because if it ever dies on you, this battery has its ability to jumpstart itself without the need of any cables or electricity or anything like that. So that's kind of cool. Um, you just push this button here and it jump starts itself. It's a little restart button. So that's, that's a cool technology they've added to, to batteries. And I mean, it, it's, it's notably lighter. All right, so now we're gonna install the battery. It's, it's approximately the same size as the stock battery that came out of it. And it fits in here like a glove. I mean, real, real tight. So you kind of have to like get in there and push, I would suggest putting this back part in first and then pushing the bottom part down. But it's in there. There we go. All right, and we'll take our little strap. While all the wires are out of the way, we'll connect it down here to secure the battery in place. 
All right, now we'll put our electronic stuff back where it goes. So this goes here, this little thing there, like that. And then our OB2 connector, slide the wires back this way. And remember, we're going to put that little plastic thing in here, just like that. All right. Now we'll uncap our negative and positive side. We'll start with the positive side since we're connecting the positive side first on our install. All right. And now we'll have to put a little block in here so that our post our little our bolt here will have something to screw into and they supply those with right here in the box for us. Here we've put a brand new post in there all together. Looks like they got us a brand new bolt. and this block. Sometimes this can be tricky because this block will like to move around inside the housing, but it's going to go like that, you know, the washer is going to be on this side and we're going to come through the post and attach it like this and then put pressure on it. So let's clamp it down. So put our little steel block through here. There we go, it's kind of lined up, not too bad. Take our old one out because they gave us new material, let's use it. Okay, put our new one. Uh, you could put dielectric grease, as you can see this is pretty greasy already with goo gobs of dielectric grease, but if it wasn't and we were doing it dry, you might want to add some to it. And it just, it's good for all your electrical connections. This has lots of grease on it, as you can see. And our post, we'll start twisting it backwards just to kind of line it up there, we'll make sure we don't cross thread anything. And we'll twist it clockwise. And it's going on there just fine. Again, this is this wire here is aftermarket. It's a battery goes to a battery tender, but we're not going to use a regular lead acid battery tender. We're going to use a lithium ion battery tender moving forward. Another thing that's good about the Shariah battery is you don't have to buy a proprietary battery tender. Or, I mean, sorry, the anti-gravity, you don't have to buy a proprietary battery tender. The Shariah battery, which is a cheaper option, you would have to actually buy their battery tender as well that has a special connection. So it might be worth it, the extra $30, to go this route with the anti-gravity. Not only for the restart, the jump start feature, but you can use more generic lithium battery Tenders, chargers. Okay, put that in there. Set the block. Got our new bolt. Put our battery tender connection here on top. And our bolt there. And then we'll just push it down right here into the hole. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That didn't happen. All right, so we do that. And tighten it up. And voila. We have installed a new battery. Now, we just need to put on the seat and we're good to go. 
um, some hiccups. Seems like a simple video, I know. Most of you will probably already know how to install your battery. Some hiccups you might run into with this is removing the battery and putting it in. So you might see that it's difficult to take this battery out of the bike. There's no need to remove these bolts here. This thing will stay firmly in place. Um, it's just that you need more clearance back here. And remember, these things are easily movable. You just take this out and this electrical box out and pry it uh, away from its little boot that holds it in there. And it'll, it'll give you more than enough room to, to remove the old battery. It fits tight in there, but it, it can be done simply. Okay, next with the seat, this part here will go slide underneath this part and then we'll just uh, tighten down our two fasteners back here with our five millimeter Allen wrench. All right guys, and that's how you replace a battery in your R6 motorcycle. Same procedure actually goes with a lot of other motorcycles, so it's not too uncommon to do the same thing with many other types of sport bikes. Stay tuned for our next episode.